Hey guys, Pete, GCI Turf, and this is part number seven of sprayer calibration. And what we're gonna go over today is spot spraying. Now, uh, all right, so I know you've seen this before, or you may have done it. You've got your, your, your backpack sprayer on, or your little hand can, and you, you've got your your herbicide mixed up and you're walking along, along the yard or you've got some roundup and you're walking along your driveway or in your beds and there's a weed. I need to spray this product on that weed so that weed will go away, right? So, uh, Just doesn't look like it's covered all that good. Yeah, let's put some more on it. That'll work. More is always better. Yeah. Let's give it to it. Let's really give it to it. Die, we die. Hey, so I know you've seen that before, right? Or you may have even done it. Well, it may be not quite that drastic, but I'm trying to get a point across that that's not the right way to do this. We call it spot spraying because you're spraying a spot, a small area uh, that you, you, may be, you may be walking along the yard or walking along the driveway, you see something, you stop, you might give it a couple of pumps, and then you spray it like so. It's, it's not the drowning game. We're only trying to get X amount of product on that weed. Now let me define spot sprayer first. What I'm calling a spot sprayer is your, your basic standard backpack sprayer with a pump type handle or the little small hand cans that you, you pump up. I call those spot sprayer because our maintenance crews use them with glyphosate Roundup and after they're mowing the yard and they're edging and they're blowing and cleaning up, they go around and they spray the cracks in the driveway and spray the uh, natural areas, pine needle areas for weeds and things like that coming up. And then also our fertilization technicians, our spray technicians, uh, during certain times of the year will carry these because, the, because weeds are very minimal during certain times of the year. And that way we don't have to waste a lot of product and put it in our big tank and blanket out a whole entire yard just to kill one weed. So we spot spray them. So that's my definition of a spot sprayer. Um, so let's, uh, let me show you how I calibrate this. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna start uh, on an even scale. And what I mean by that is I'm going to relieve all the pressure out of my backpack because I don't know how many times I pumped it up last time, the time before, whatever. I don't know who used it before. So I'm going to start even keel, relieve all the pressure out of my sprayer. I'm going to fill it up with about halfway full of water, a gallon of water, whatever. Doesn't take much to calibrate one of these. And then I'm gonna begin pumping until I get a desired spray pattern. Uh, now, of course, I have to pick my height for my spray nozzle. We learned about that in a previous video, that the height determines the width. And so you can see here, if, I, if I'm up high, I get a wider pattern. If I'm down low, I get a more narrow pattern. Well, for spot spraying, little individual weeds and cracks in driveway, I'm gonna go with the narrow pattern. So, uh, let me get my little handy dandy tape measure here out. And this is about six inches. And about six inches is all I'm looking for. I'm, I'm only wanting, let's see, at six inches high, that puts us about five inches wide, six inches wide, roughly. So that, that's plenty good enough for me uh, when it comes to spot spraying a weed. 
So I don't want to over pressurize these tanks. I don't, because that's where you get into drift and you start creating too much pressure behind the spray tip and, and you get those little tiny microscopic drops of water that go all over the place. And we don't want to kill Miss Jones's award-winning rose bush, right? So I'm gonna pump it up to where I get uh, enough pressure to where it actually creates that fan pattern. So if you notice here, I'm letting, I'm not pumping it and I'm letting the pressure go down on its own and you can see the spray pattern just keeps getting more narrow and more narrow. It's because it doesn't have any force behind it. So now I have to pump it up and you can see the more I pump it, the wider it gets because I'm putting more pressure behind it. Okay? So you have, you have to kind of figure out, all these backpack sprayers are gonna operate different. They're gonna create a different amount of pressure. I can't tell you what yours does. You have to put it on your back and try it. And once you find that pressure, then we're ready to calibrate. You, you get your height, your six inches height, and, and get your pressure to where it sprays a good uh, pattern. And then as you're spraying throughout the day or whatever, you wanna try to mimic that pressure and be consistent with it. Remember, pressure is one of our con uh, constants in spraying that it has to be. All right, so now that I've got it pumped up, I've got a good pressure going here for my uh, height and width to give me a good spray pattern. I've got four foot between these cups and I'm, I'm gonna make me a, a pass through here just like this and I'm gonna count it, I'm gonna time it to see how long it takes me to spray that four foot. Two, three, four. All right, four seconds. So now we need to do our math. We're 48 inches wide, or excuse me, we're 48 inches long. Remember, four feet, 12 inches in a foot, four times 12 is 48. 48 inches long, six inches wide, that equals 288 square inches. Now, I don't want to confuse you because I've been talking square feet the whole series. But since this is such a small area and we're using low volume here spraying, we're going to work with inches right now and I'm going to up that to feet in just a minute. 48 inches long, 6 inches wide, that's 288 square inches. Now, how do I convert that over to square feet? Well, we need to divide that by 12 because there's 12 inches in a foot and we're going to come up with 24. 288 divided by 12 is 24. Then we take uh, the 24 inches and divide it by 12. That's two. That's how I come up with two square feet. So this area, if I'm six inches wide and I'm 48 inches long, this area right here is two square feet is what that comes up to. So we know now that we can cover this two square foot area in four seconds. That's how long it takes us. So now, give me some pressure here. Oh, I think I'm good with that. One, two, three, four. Let's see what we got here. We have in four seconds, where's the daggone, uh, there it is. Tell you, my eyes don't look like they used to. We have one ounce. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's bad, man. When I'm, I'm 43 years old, and uh, I, it's, it's, I, I'm, honestly, it's getting harder to read the, the little numbers on the side of these bottles. And I, I'm kind of embarrassed to say that, but I know it's a part of getting old, but oh well. So I got one ounce. I put one ounce on two square feet of area. So, Let's go over here, let's get a piece of paper and a pen, let's do some math. And I'm telling you, that some of this stuff may be a little overwhelming to some of you, 
But once you do this and you practice it and you, you, you learn the basic concept of what I'm teaching here, it, it becomes second nature to it. Now, obviously, I do this every single day. Now, I don't calibrate every day, but I deal in these type of numbers and square footages and length and width and speed and all that. I do it every day. So, obviously, it's going to be more natural to me. But if you just do it a little bit and practice it, I promise you, I'll give you my word that you will get better at it and it will become, uh, the more you do it, the more you get dialed in and the more you understand it and you'll be like a light bulb will go off and bam, you just, you get it and you understand it and then you can go show your neighbor or whoever uh, and, and you'll just know how to do this uh, so much easier. So uh, uh, we, what were we at? We were at one ounce. And that would put us on two square feet. All right, so I need to get this two square feet up to a thousand square feet. So we're going to multiply that times 500. All right, 500 times two is a thousand. Any way you cut it, it's, that's what it is. Two times 500 is a thousand. So we're going to take this same equation over here. And we're going to multiply it times 500, right? So 500 times 1 is going to be 500 ounces. So our ratios are now the same. We have a, a, a 1 to 2 ratio. Here, here's your part, one part. Here's your two parts. Same, exact same ratio. We've just got it up to 1,000 square feet where we can work with it. Okay, so if I take this 500 ounces... And I divide it by 128 because we know there's 128 ounces in a gallon. I'm going to get 3.9. So I can get 3.9 gallons covers 1,000 square feet. So here's the part you may or may not agree with me on. Either way, it's fine with me. But this 3.9 gallons, the most backpack sprayers that, that we've had or we've bought are four gallon. This is so close. I'm just going to call this four gallons. Now, if you'll read the label on 99.999% of herbicides, they will give you a range. And, and that range, uh, uh, just for example, let's say it may be 0.75 ounce to 1.5 ounce per 1,000. Well, that's one of the reasons I believe, there's many reasons that that range is there. Uh, sometimes a, a harder weed may need more product on it to control it, where a, a easier weed, uh, say something like a dandelion, may need less or whatever. So that's one reason that range is on there. But another reason is to get rid of this error right here or give you a, a, a more of a grace factor, I guess is the way you could look at it. A little bit of forgiveness in there because when you get down to calibrating these low volumes like this, sometimes you end up with a point something left over or, or, or something along that lines. So that's why this is kind of forgiving. So we're gonna call this four gallons will cover a thousand square feet with the backpack spurs we have. So if you uh, broke that down by the gallon, of course you would divide the 1,000 by four and you would get 250 square feet. One gallon covers 250 All square right, feet. All right, so I hope that helped you. And uh, if you got any more questions or comments, leave them below. I'll put uh, a link to all the entire video series in the uh, description and like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, and I'll keep on, keep the vids coming. Thank you.